Swanson, and Versity into Advantage, Brian Swanson. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. There's only one step for me to move forward and get even closer to y'all and get in your face. I love it. What a great opportunity. So here I am in the mecca of all things at a public library, the card catalog system. And I'm looking for a nifty thing that a 10-year-old loves, a knife. So I'm looking up any subject on knives, and I stroll on down to the aisle of the card catalog, and I come upon the end section. That's right, where I believe I'm going to find the knives. And I get down in my position, and I got my 1980s sweatband on because I'm going to catch the sweat. I've only got a short fuse at that time. I'm slightly rambunctious, so I get going pretty quick. And I pull out the end section, and I start dialing away. One, two, three, four, five. Gotta take a break already. I'm tired. I'm done with this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I, time's going by, and I'm looking through this card catalog, and I get all the way to the end, and I can't find anything that looks like a knife. So I'm dumbstruck. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking, what kind of public library is this? They don't have anything about knives? I don't know about this place, but the wheels start turning and I start thinking I've got another way to solve this problem. So I stroll on down. That's right. I cruise on down to where all the books are at and I find the section with the end. But of course I had to whip out my awesome magnifying glass because the ends back then up on top of where the book thing sat is like this small with some number code system that I think was related to the Dewey Decimal, but I'm not sure. Probably because I didn't pay attention. And I'm looking, yep, there's the end section. And I go down the file, or alley I should say, alleyway, bookshelves, and they're all like this. So none of the covers are showing. I can't see if there's any knives. So I've determined that I'm going to go ahead and use my Mr. Miyagi stance and I'm going to pull each book out and push it back in. I'm going to pull and push and it's just like Karate Kid. I figure I'm going to work on my Kung Fu Ninja skills right here. Wax on, wax off, but this is a push, a pull and push technique. And I go through the entire end section pulling out each book to look at the cover to see if there is a knife on there. And again, I'm dismayed. This is terrible. There's no knives. I didn't see one book with any kind of picture of a knife. And I thought again, what kind of public library is this? They got no knives. Maybe they're not supposed to have any knives. I digress. A few days goes by and we're in our textbooks. We're learning about the old Alamo, which we visited many times if you're from San Antonio. And as we're reading, we come across a line that says, the James Bowie knife. Aha! The light bulb goes off. There is a K in the word knife. I want it down. A silent K? I never heard of such a thing. Who placed this there? Who wrote the English language? I wondered all these little things. But as that light came on, I began to understand that for all these words that I didn't know, or I couldn't find in the card catalog system or on the shelves with my pull push technique that I did really, really well. <laughs> but now I had a system. And what I would do every time we found a word is I would write it down or I found a word. I would scroll it down or I would underline it. Being a little rambunctious, you aren't supposed to do that with the textbooks. I really didn't care. I was there to learn, and I think my parents paid taxes, so whatever. <laughs> and I underlined them, and I scrolled, and then I wrote them down on a separate piece of paper. And then when the teacher was up on the chalkboard and she put up a word that I thought was spelled a particular way, like the word knife, maybe with an N, but apparently it's with a K, I would write those words down as well. And so I did that all through the years that I was in school. 
and I began to understand the English language a little bit better. Now, I didn't get into all the prepositions and all this other stuff. I didn't really understand all of that at a young age. I had too much energy. I was more kinesthetic, I believe is, is the word. But what it did do is it showed me that there was more than one way to skin a cat. I could sit there and look through every card catalog and bore myself to tears. I could look through every book. But no, all I needed to do was open up my ears and the answer was there. And pay attention when it was written or I was listening to somebody reading something and highlight all those words and keep a list of them. And this helped me overcome my difficulties with the English language. Mr. Toastmaster. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll take a moment to fill out the glowing row.